Hi, I'm Angela Price from Eden Condensed Small Space Garden Design, and this is Garden Space. And these are impatience. Probably you've seen these in gardens or uh, public spaces because they're super easy to grow. They grow well both in sun and part shade. And I've even seen them in sort of deeper shade gardens as well and have successful blooming. So if you have a shade garden, they're great to try out to bring some color to uh, the shade. They um, also uh, will spread out and mound nicely, so they'll fill quite a bit of space with one or two small plants. And there's several different varieties. Um, these are regular bedding in patients. I have some doubles here that the flowers actually look like little roses. And then I have these New Guinea impatiens, which have a um, darker uh, leaf with a red vein that goes through them. So they're a little bit more dramatic. So question is, are, peren are impatiens perennial or are they annuals? Now, as you know, an annual flower is one that grows, blooms, sets seed, and then dies within one growing season whereas a perennial flower is one that continues to come back each season. With the impatiens, in a way, they're both perennials and annuals. If you happen to live in an area where you're in agricultural zones, either 10 or 11, so you're gonna have winters with average temperatures over 40 to 45 degrees, which means you're generally not going to have any hard frosts. Impatience will act as perennials, which means they may get a little bit leggy or a little bit sad when the weather gets cold, but as it warms up again, they will come back and rebloom each year. If you happen to live in an area where you do get a hard frost, then impatience will act more like annuals where they will uh, die after that first hard frost and you'll have to remove them and then replant them again in the spring. Um, but they're really great to try, and they're one of those gardening flowers that uh, if you're a beginner, uh, you'll get a lot of bang for your buck on, on these. If you have any other questions about impatience, please contact me at www.edencondensed.com. Thank you very much.